solid footing is vital in the game of football. But that doesn't mean players can't also get flashy with their feet. Yeah, a team that stays as fly as the Steelers knows that. And for the first class fancy footwork, one of our 412 artists stands head and shoulders above the rest. It's kind of cool, this, this world of artwork and performance coming together. People's individual personalities are really coming out into uh, onto the field. Lots of really cool celebrations, and you know, you think about guys like Juju and Chase Claypool that that have these big exuberant personalities, and they they wear it well on their cleats. These uh, cleats are going to be for James Pierre, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers cornerback, number 42, number one in your hearts. Um, he is. Uh, doing a, uh, a shoe for My Cause, My Cleats, which is what we're doing here today. These are gonna be all pink. They're gonna be done uh, in tribute and in remembrance of a family member that was uh, diagnosed with breast cancer. Well, I would say that 90% of shoe making, like the custom cleat uh, game, is is preparation. 10% of it is the, what you guys would consider the fun part. Step one is uh, using acetone to break down that finishing layer. Then we want to uh, sand down the cleat as best we can. Step three is making sure that we tape off all the areas that we don't want to get paint on. Every couple weeks, uh, TJ and I come together and we think of something really cool to do for his next pair of cleats. I'll be honest, it, it's him coming up with most of his ideas. Yeah. What, what TJ is really good at is he really wants people to see that he is a part of Pittsburgh. So I think that's a really great thing that TJ is just, I am all Pittsburgh. What do you think is the most popular cleat? TJ Watts Halloween cleats that uh, that premiered uh, for the uh, Browns game. Anything with TJ Watt takes off on my Instagram page though, yeah. you know? <laughs> but Ben Roethlisberger, he wants to get cleats done of his 400 touchdown uh, game against uh, Green Bay, and also when he passed up Dan Marino in passing yards. Doing that is really meaningful because I know Ben's going to cherish those for, uh, for the rest of his life. And now step four, the fun part. It's going to be awesome. It's something I thought about 30 seconds ago. I kind of just work it out in my, in my head. It's a design that I've thought about doing before and now get to fully uh, realize that. Oh, good, good. Okay.